Hey YouTube, in the previous video, we spoke about our borehole and now I'm going to show you how to measure the static. So what the driller asked me to do after a couple of hours, because what happens is after the borehole is drilled, water seeps and it flows because after the drillers uh, drill the bore, they then pump in compressed air and it forces the water all the way from the bottom of the well right up to the top so some people either just throw a stone in and allow it to free fall and then they hear, they listen out for the splash but with this if if the the static which is the head of your meniscus if it's quite high then this is a 30 meter um, measuring tape so you could drop it into the well and then watch when the tape measure actually hits the the static and then you could get the reading from there that will then determine the size of the pump to get and what the the reserve is within the the borehole itself right so it's easy to measure once you get that height you can then measure the the radius of or the diameter first and div divided by two to get the radius of this of the ball of the actual bore and then the driller will will tell you what the depth is that was drilled and then if you use the formula pi r squared multiplied by height that will give you the volume of water that is within the bore itself okay so just by dropping down the measuring tape all the way down to the well and you can attach a stone here and allow it to free fall and you can you can hear a splash that will also give an indication but just a word of caution just sanitize this because you don't want to contaminate the groundwater with uh, any bacteria or anything. Okay, thank you for watching. In the next video, we'll show you how to extract water without a pump.